People calling on Governor Hochul to raise the pay for direct support professionals here in New York. They're specially trained workers who help families take care of their loved ones with disabilities. Fox 5's Antoine Lewis shows us how they can make a difference. Look at all those pictures of you and Cameron. Jane Flynn Hartness Autism Advocacy began when her son Rory was a toddler and the family's life was forever changed. It's heart wrenching sometimes. You're always under so much stress and you plan you have children. He was born mm. typically and at 21 months he had the reaction and I lost him. He lost the ability to sit, to crawl and chew. So your whole life is turned upside down. Now 23, Rory, who's developmentally disabled, has the assistance of Ben, his DSP, direct support professional. They are together six days a week. The Hartnets are fortunate as many autistic families are struggling to find DSPs. Advocates say the pay is too low. Patience has no price. Patience is priceless. That's the first thing you need to do that. But at the same time, the staff need some encouragement. The encouragement is the money as well. So it's not the, the well-being of the client, but the money is something too that gives you more you know, encouragement to do the job as you're supposed to do it. But they're working two, sometimes three shifts, and the state keeps on saying we're going to get help, but there's no help, and now they're continuing to cut the budget. We're not going back. We're not going back. Just last week, families, friends, and advocates held rallies both in Rockland County and on Long Island, calling for state lawmakers to increase funds to hire, train, and retain direct support professionals. Advocates say Governor Hochul's budget calls for a one and a half cost of living adjustment, or COLA, which supporters say isn't nearly enough. They believe a 3.2% COLA and $4,000 annual wage enhancement better fits the role that DSPs play, which in Jean's case is doubly important, as she has two family members with disabilities. Rory and her husband Jimmy, a retired FDNY lieutenant, now in the early stages of dementia. I have my moments. I still cry. In a statement to Fox 5, Governor Hochul's office said the fiscal year 2025 budget increases spending on Office for People with Developmental Disability Supports and Services by 4.8 percent for a total of nearly $5.1 billion. But that's subject to approval by the state legislature, which the advocates hope will come to fruition to continue loving and necessary bonds like this. From Rockland County, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.